Kirkat Radio Telescope is changing the face of science. The first scientific paper that was published based on observations from the site was published five years ago. Since then, it has been instrumental in changing the landscape of astronomy, science and technology globally. The project has also provided training opportunities for young scientists as well as research opportunities. And hundreds of scientific papers have now been published with the use of the Meerkat radio telescope, which is based in the Northern Cape. Uh, how fantastic the instrument is that we've been able to publish more than 260 papers to date uh, in its, you know, in this short period. Uh, but it also, and, and, and almost 80 of those papers were just in this last year. Uh, what it tells us is that with the amount of data that we've collected, we, we can expect the growth in publications to continue. But it also means that there's sufficient science that can be done. So all the people that we are training will have uh, the ability to still use the data from this instrument uh, to produce even more fantastic science results. The project forms part of government's plans to develop science and technology in South Africa. Now this is an investment that was made by especially the democratic government, you know, after 1994, by laying a foundation, having a white paper that commits us to get into science fields that some time, some of them before, were not as strong as all that. In fact, when Meerkat and, and, and this started, there were very few PhDs in astronomy, you know. And there's been human resources development, bursaries and scholarships. And now, as you were hearing the figures, you know, 65% of astronomers in South Africa today are black and just over 30 percent are women. We are still not yet there, but it's a huge progress. Meerkat consists of 64 dishes. It will be integrated into the SKA-1 MUD project in the Northern Cape in the coming years, which will include an additional 133 dishes, bringing the total number of dishes for the SKA-1 MUD project to 197. Corbin August, SABC News, Cape Town.